first full contact matches, I believe. These girls have been doing semi-contact and light contact for years. Aubrey charged across the cage and Angelise had an answer. I mean, I did not have this kind of like gumption at their age. No, and on this stage too for these little guys, you know, doing those tournaments in ballrooms at uh, hotels and stuff yeah. is gonna hit very different than this combat night atmosphere. Yeah. You've got hundreds Ooh. of people watching right now, you know, the second fight of the night. I mean, let alone the fact they're not the first fight of the night. You had adults fighting before them. That's pretty crazy in itself. But we see even with all the years of martial arts, like education, in this first round, the nerves have still turned it into a wild brawl yeah. with just some well-formed kicks and shots in there. But we'll, we'll see them settle down in that second round and really come into their, their martial arts style. I think in just uh, the same way with the point fighting and uh, kickboxing tournaments, they're look we're looking for clean strikes, not a brawl. We're looking for clean landing yep. strikes. Uh, yeah, that's just the second time there that Aubrey Hall was able to land a teeth to the face there of Angelis Rojas. Oh. Ref. Oh. Uh, you, her, her, uh, you, I, uh. Ref. Pardon, pardon the silence here. We've uh, we've had a little. She had a little wardrobe malfunction oh, there yeah. for a moment. Uh, I believe she's gotten it sorted out, which is good. We were trying to get a hold of the commission to see if uh, we could stall the action so she could uh, deal with that. But didn't stop her. She, when it's time to throw, it's time to throw. Fighters fight. Man, they they look real solid. She doesn't look that thrown off by it. But we will find out. Yeah, again, Aubrey round. with that, with those teeps to the face, man, those are landed for her. She, both these girls have really long builds. Their legs are going to be a primary weapon for them, and really solid catches so far on both both sides. Angelise was aware of that front kick, and she wanted to get in the, the inside the range of it. If you guys are familiar with uh, youth kickboxing, they have to wear head guards. And you'll see the head guard that Aubrey is wearing. This is my preferred uh, headgear. If you wear headgear in your sparring and practice, top 10 is the way to go. It doesn't block off any of your vision. It's not a big, poofy headset. It's got uh, padding on the back and a lot of adjustable spots. And it does what it should do, cover you for cuts, not cut off your eye line or pad your head. So if you are a youth amateur, I strongly suggest looking into a top 10 headgear. These ladies are keeping the pace. Yeah, definitely. There's not a single break in action. Big teep to the face by Howell. Angelise reeling a little bit here. Howell with the spinning back fist. Got caught on the elbow, but that was circumstantial, not on purpose. Is this Combat Knight's first youth fight? I think it's our first youth female fight. Yeah, female fight, yeah. Man. This is the first time I've seen girls this young in the, in the Combatagon. I didn't realize teenagers had an option to fight in the Combatagon. I thought I thought it was you had to be 16 with parents' permission, but these girls, like they're at least you know 12 years old maybe. Something like that, yeah. Well, you know, one's a karate champion, one's a kickboxing champion, yeah, so, so they they're definitely experience. competing. Yeah. I know I've seen Angelise uh, compete in um, submission grappling as well. The kids nowadays are so well-rounded. The next generation of fighters coming up, say in the next five or six years, like, it'll be a, uncomparable to like UFC 1, UFC 50, UFC, even a UFC 150. There's completely different animals. But we see nowadays we've got guys making their UFC debuts, or hell, not even in the UFC. Have you seen the Combat Night main events? These are UFC caliber fights oftentimes. And those guys are five or six fights into their career.
This is the third and final round here for these young ladies. Yes, sir. And big shout outs to Chris from Retro Grappler, keeping our fighters outfitted fresh to death. Yeah, Aubrey is just continuing to pile on the pressure nonstop. She's not giving Angelis a single second to breathe. Again, with that front seat to the face here. Man, I tell my fighters, you're not allowed to be tired until you're 27. <laughs> so if you are a teenager, there's no rounds off. There is no round. Like, you are a living combustion engine. Just get to work. Yeah, These those girls are machine guns. Those kicks are money there for Aubrey Howell. Aubrey Howell is a machine. Her form is great. She turns her hips over. She drives through. Her kicks are ferocious. And this is nearing the last. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Isaiah Cabalt, has called a stop to this bout in round number three for your winner, out of the blue corner, Aubrey Howe. Congratulations to Aubrey Howe. Give it up for both of these young ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for both of them. Absolutely.